Okay guys, today's how to. We're gonna teach you guys how to turn your feet, pivot your hips and your feet into your punches and which punches we need to do that on. Okay, and we're also gonna talk a little bit about why. So number one, why? Why do we need to turn our feet and our hips? Is for power, is for extension of our punches. Those kinds of things are the reasons of why we do it. Okay, it, it the, when it was introduced, to be able to rotate your foot or rotate your hip into those shots when you're throwing them, people started seeing a lot more knockouts in boxing when those were happening. And so they, they, they wanted to keep that in the industry as a practice that this is what we want to do. So it's, it's critical to the effectiveness of the punch that we're going to be throwing. And, but we need to know what punches that we're throwing to which ones need our feet turned because some of them don't need them. And the, the reasons why we're going to go over as well. So one through eight, there's gonna be some punches in those sequences that you don't need to turn your feet, and there's gonna be some of them where it's very critical that you need to. So one, I don't need to turn my foot when I'm throwing a one, okay? My one is gonna find my distance, it's gonna find my range, it's gonna set up my other punches to come behind it. So I wanna be able to move. I wanna be able to make sure that I have the ability to be elusive when I'm moving and I can't turn my foot and move at the same time. But when I am set, and I'm not moving anywhere and I wanna throw a one, I can turn my hip into that so I can give myself a little bit more power, but I still don't need to turn my foot, okay? So we don't need to on a one, we also don't need to on a five, okay? So we'll go over the ones we don't need to turn our feet for first, and then go over all, that leaves all the rest of them that we need to. So a five, when I throw my five, which is that uppercut from my lead hand, okay, I don't need to turn that foot at all. I am already super close to my opponent. There's no need for me to rotate my hips any more forward to that person, okay? I can turn my hip into that shot, but I wanna keep those feet planted to the ground when I'm throwing a five. So we don't need to rotate our foot on a five. Don't need to on a one, and we don't need to on a five. Just rotate that hip and put that body rotation to create the power when it comes to throwing your five. So let's go over all the ones that we do need to turn our feet on. Anything I throw with my trail hand or my power hand, okay? So if you're right-handed, orthodox stance, anything with your right hands. Twos, fours, sixes, and eights. I'm gonna rotate my foot every single time. If I'm not, which I just went through them, and I'm not rotating my foot, I'm losing two things. Number one, I'm losing power. I'm also losing the extension I need naturally just standing in my boxing stance I'm losing distance from my right hand. You can see that I am further away with my right hand than my left hand. So I wanna make sure that I'm carrying and keeping that distance and I'm able to make that up by rotating that foot through that punch that I'm throwing, okay? So that's gonna help with distance, but it's also going to help with power. Now, we need to know how far we need to turn our foot, okay? I don't need to turn my foot, so I'm rotating it all the way over so I'm on the side of my foot. The rotation is as far as the punch is being thrown. So if I'm throwing a two and I'm fully extending, that's as much of a turn that needs to happen in that rotation. I don't need to exaggerate it all the way over here. I want my torso and my, my hip line to be lined with the shot down the middle. So as far as that is, it's only a few inches as far as rotation. Same thing with a three. If I'm coming to throw that three and I'm rotating that front foot with my three, I only need to throw that, rotate that foot as far as the punch is being thrown. So when I'm making contact, boom, I'm right there. Everything is in line together and that's gonna be the most critical part about it is timing everything together. And I wanna make sure my arm punch, everything is all in, in link so that one moves with the other and it's all timed in sequence. So that's where we want to emphasize it. Twos, fours, sixes, eights. Every time I throw a two, every time I throw a four, a six, an eight, I am pivoting that back foot and hip all at the same time that I'm throwing that punch. Threes, rotating my front foot. Seven, rotating my front foot. I want to get the power that I can get as much of out of every one of those punches. And it's going to be critical to turn your feet. So remember guys, these videos are here to help you guys get familiar with what we're teaching in classes. 
but you still need to come to class, let your coach teach you, be hands-on with you, let you know exactly what it is that you're doing, that you're doing great at, and then you can come back to the videos and you can have a better understanding of what they mean and practice and use them as a tool to help you when you come back to classes. But the coach is still gonna be your best tool on teaching you how to properly do it. These are just gonna be a great tool to help familiarize yourself with boxing and with what we're teaching here at Legends. So we'll see you next time.